quel nom Most of the trees are bare, but there's one that's uh, about a month ahead of everybody else here. This is a peach tree. Never gives me any peaches. It blooms too soon, I think. This is a pear tree, just barely getting started. Same thing here. This is a fruitless pear tree. Nothing happening there yet. Cherry tree. Every once in a while it gets a cherry or two on it. This cherry tree is loaded with cherries probably in about uh, six weeks or so. And this is another peach tree. It's waiting for the right moment. The piano keys will be sticky. This is a humid day, so we'll do uh, whatever we can here and hope that the sound is not uh, too bad. I'll get the mic a little bit closer to my lips here, like that. Well, Noah was a fella who needed an umbrella, and I wonder if he were around today. Would he consult with his psychologist or a TV meteorologist if he thought perhaps a storm was on the way? Would he hitch up a pair of mules or would he opt for power tools? I wonder what old Noah might do. If he foresaw the changing weather, would he tweet it all on Twitter or would he just keep quietly building his wooden zoo? Now would he harness two mosquitoes, two orangutans and cheetahs, and maybe bring some zebras in on buses? Would he find two owls so wise and a pair of blue tail flies and some platypuses and hippopotamuses? Should he go north or travel east with his noisy jungle beasts? I'll give Noah my very best advice. Noah, no matter what the cost, I know you won't get lost if you'll just invest in a GPS device. Oh, take a gander at that moose, take a gander, take a goose. Should the fleas ride in the same room as the kittens? Would the centipedes and spiders be considered first-class riders? And would the roaches be told to stay out of the kitchen? Would the hyenas be displeased as they ride the stormy seas? Or would they just laugh it off and carry on? <laughs> Might need an extra cow or two to be cat food at the zoo Cause I know lions and tigers are not vegetarian Well, I know Noah's a genius, so let's just keep this strictly between us I'm not really sure that ship is watertight I know he talked to the bears and the turtles and the hares And he told the cats and dogs not to fight but that big ship is made of timber And the captain must remember To be really, 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 really smart If he wants to avoid the leaks He'd better put some duct tape on the beaks Of those two woodpeckers riding in that wooden arm Oh, put some duct tape on the beaks Of those little feathered freaks 
Those two woodpeckers riding in that wooden arm Oh yeah I just shopped at Aldi's and the rain has increased. People waiting for a bus there.